Pokemon Fire Red Walkthrough, Part 24. In this episode, we're going to finish up Route 16. Is this me or does this seem slow? Awfully, awfully slow. I guess it's doing 13 frames, but... Alright. First things first, I uh, did some off-screen uh, Pokemon catching, so... Once you've gotten 30 Pokemon, or more... We're going to go to Vermilion City. I've gotten 31 Pokemon, so we're going to go do a little side quest first. Uh, we're going to be obtaining an item from one of Professor Oak's aides. It's not required to beat the game, but you can get, find something very, very cool if you do this. And it's... The, the item I'm going to find is very helpful, I guess. I mean, it doesn't help you too much, but it kind of does come in handy come on over here and we talk to his aides and he says um, if you can play 30 species or more he'll entrust you with an item finder and what we can do with this item finder is um, if you do remember back where exactly we caught um, our Snorlax uh, you can go there and stand right on top of where he was sitting and you can get leftovers and what leftovers does is if you have your Pokemon holding leftovers during a game, it'll gain like nine hit points back per end of a turn. Around like I think it was like nine hit points or something like that. Something like that, just a little bit of HP per uh, turn. So it comes in handy and it never runs out. So I mean, I think it's better than putting leftover. I think it's better putting leftovers on a Pokemon than a, like a Orin Berry. Alright, and you just go over to your items, click on use, and stand right there. You have to be exactly on, on top of where Snorlax was the sitting. Obtained one leftovers. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put the leftovers on... What's my Pokemon's name? I mean, I'm thinking I put it on Dragonair. In this video, I got irritated with my team. I just, uh, on my other Fire Red I'm playing, just play through just for the hell of it. I have just beaten the final rival battle before the Elite Four. All my Pokemon are up to like level 50, and it's kind of awesome. Caught in the first two Legendary Birds. I mean, okay, I was playing this on, playing this through separately on a completely different game, a completely different team. And catching both Legendary Birds, I had to do like four different resets because it was ticking me off. Cause it just wouldn't, they wouldn't catch. I used up uh, over 50 uh, Ultra Balls on them and it wouldn't catch any of them. So I added like four resets per bird. It's ticking me off. So I'm hoping I don't go that unlucky on this walkthrough. Okay. Um, every time, every battle in this game, in, in this one, I pretty much ended up getting one of my Pokemon. Uh, what is the, uh, they kept getting poisoned. So it was pissing me off. And it's really taking me off. I'm gonna check on Dragonair's uh, special attack stats, and if it's really lousy, I'm gonna cry because I don't feel like switching out Pokemon this late in the game. But if I have to, I wouldn't mind. I, if I could find a better one, I may just switch Dragonair out for a better Water type Pokemon. Even though Dragonair is not a Water type Pokemon, it's a Dragon. But I'm gonna check, take a look at its special uh, special attack. If it's special attacks low, I may just go buy it some steroids back in Celadon City. Nothing like giving your Pokemon steroids, guys. Um, water pulls them to death, I guess. Just because you had to use water type moves or any good special attacking moves, just because they're special attacking so low, and Dragonair got up a level. Switch it out. I, um, in this walkthrough, you'll see that I switched out to multiple different Pokemon just just to get it going quicker. Um, I'm hopefully gonna get this video done under 50 episodes, and if I can, I'd be extremely happy. But I may not. Uh, this video ended up being like 19, almost 20 minutes long. It's gonna take me like all night to freaking render this damn video. I see it coming like an hour to render it and an hour to upload it. And it used smog. I just, I hate wheezings for that because it's not much of, 
doesn't do much damage, just always ends up poisoning me. I mean, it's like I've got a 4 out of 5 chance of getting poisoned when they use it on me and it ticks me off. And, I mean, to deal with their crap, you just to deal with them, they only give you like $500 per trainer, and it's like, really? Really? After all that I went through, definitely stock up on antidotes going through this route. Um, it does come in handy. Alright, um, these mucks. I highly suggest you don't do what I'm doing and trying to just take it out with good moves. What you're going to need to do is just <laughs> use a psychic or ground type because these mucks are just, they're a freaking brick wall. They're so annoying. I hate muck. Personally, I don't much care for any good, any of the poison type Pokemon. I only like part poison because their other parts are better because uh, there's not too many good powerful poison type moves in this generation and poison's only strong against um, it's only strong attack ability against pure grass types and there's only one in this game and then it but they their defenses are pretty decent plus fighting types are only half effective on poison they're half effective on poison I personally think they should be two times effective offensively against them that's just my two bits. Um, I'm also excited because I think it's like a week and I think it's exactly two weeks today. No. Well, in 13 days I'll be getting a DS. My new DS. And I'm going to be getting Pokemon White or Black. I'm not sure. I gotta figure out what's the differences. You, usually they're, they're very small. Obviously the legendaries are the difference and some Pokemon can only be caught in certain in certain uh, Pokemon games. Um, and we're going up against a Mankey. Like I said before my early videos, Poison and Fighting are the Pokemon you'll find here. So bring antidotes and potions because I almost pulled my hair out playing through this. I almost said, screw it and uh, trained up a little bit more. Or ch I should have checked Dragonair's special attack, which I've yet to do even. I need to check it and see if it's, if it's just crap. I'm not even gonna bother, bother using it. Excuse me. It's almost like 12 o'clock here. Even though I slept until like 4 this afternoon. The karate chop. <coughs> And leftovers do come in handy, just because it takes so long to take out these Pokemon. Because Dragonairs, for some reason, got crappy special special attack. Plus, it's probably just because it's using a Water type move and it isn't a Water type Pokemon, so it loses a lot of it loses some attack power compared to a Water type Pokemon. So what I'm thinking is, I may just keep Dragonair till I get my real Water type Pokemon, because I guess, like I said before, it's probably just going to be my interim water type Pokemon. Because Dragonair does not learn too many good moves. Just all Dragon type moves, and... I may need it, though. I may need it to... No, I'm going to need the other one instead. So Dragonair will just be an interim uh, water type Pokemon. The water type Pokemon I'll be using... I will get later on in the game. And I think after I get what I need to get... It'll probably be around level 20 when the rest of my team's up to like level 40. So, yeah, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Hmm. I wish I have to do a lot of extra training with it. But it ain't impo impossible to do extra training to a Pokemon. Just do a lot of off screen re battling. And I've decided that uh, the next game we'll be doing a walkthrough for will be fun for me to play. <laughs> uh. 
The only problem I have doing with doing uh, gold, silver, and crystal is this one problem is because I'm just rambling. The only reason I don't like, I don't kind of on the edge of it, just because you got, I've got, I'd have to do videos for both regions. And if I do them for both regions, it'll just be a time consuming. Plus, the final battle with Trainer Red will be a pain in the ass. Just because he's got all level 80 Pokemon, and I doubt I'll get my Pokemon up to level 80 before that. I mean, I struggle getting my Pokemon up to level 40 before the freaking uh, Pokemon League. Although, I did. Oh, and what I really like, though, about those generations is in Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, all you have to do is get your Pokemon up to level 40 before the uh, before the Elite Four and your Pokemon are set, as long as they know the right moves. Alright, let's switch out to Arcanine. Arcanine needs some good XP. I probably need, I'll probably be training with it off camera, along with my Dragonair and my Dragon my Dragonair and my Dragon. La, la, la. My Dragonair and my Arcanine. Arcanine will do some off screen training. I'll probably do a lot of off screen training tonight just to get all my Pokemon up levels. Because I kind of want to get my Pokemon all up to level. F level 40. Oh, level 40 before the next game. And even though I do get to Fuchsia City in this video, I'm not going to take on the gym later yet. Um, I've got a whole nother set of routes I'm going to do or record before then. Because in this game, there's enough trainers here that you should be able to do get all your Pokemon up to level 50 before the Elite Four. Which is like the recommended levels. So if you can get up to level 50, you should be able to get through Pokemon League with a little difficulty. Basically, all I'm doing right now is just healing up because, for some reason, all my Pokemon were pissing me off because I was just doing, I was just using stab attacks because I didn't want to do any good. Because it wouldn't do any good to use Leer on a freaking Weezing when I'm about to use freaking Water Pulse while by, while lower its defenses if I'm trying to use a special attacking move. And for some reason, my thing just okay. I think out I got this me. fixed now. What the Yay. Fuck? My computer, for frick? some reason, kept the frick? What's sketching the frick? out on this video, so I had to uh, unplug my freaking wireless connection. That fixed it all. Alright, now we're going up against a freaking coughing. What a shock. A coughing. Uh, this, I hate the bikers just because I hate poison-type Pokemon with a fashion. With a passion. With a fashion. But with a passion just because they're so annoying. Um, especially coughings because, um they're immune to ground type moves because there's stupid immunity well that would be a good reason for me to play crystal and gold because in those versions um, the abilities have yet to like kick to take effect because they haven't made them yet so you can use ground type moves on coffins um although okay I'm gonna take a poll here on people okay comment down below but um I thought about doing a emerald or a ruby or if I do if I do the Hoenn League, uh, one of those games, I'd do ruby just because that was the first ever GBA game I ever got, and it was one of my favorite favorites. Um, but okay, I get the ROM right, and if I were to use a Pokemon like uh, Golbat, Crobat, and, Z and Zubat, and all those. Uh, for some reason, Golbat does not know how to learn the move Fly to the fourth generation. Um, I've got this software. It's called uh, YAPE, yet another Pokemon uh, editor. What it does is you're allowed to edit the moves it can learn through HMs and leveling up and some of its stats. But I was wondering, would it, would it be considered cheating if I, if I made a Golbat allowed to learn Fly? I mean, it sounds just fair because the fourth generation and fifth generations, a Golbat can learn fly. So to you, is that like hack? Is that not hacking? It's never hacking. It would be modding, but it um, would that be considered cheating in your opinion? I mean, just making it able to learn the move fly. I wouldn't mess with the stats on it or the um, 
move set. I just allow Golbat to learn fly just because Golbat it only evolves through happiness. Which you will do that in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. It just usually it takes a good while for me. Although I do sometimes get lucky for it to evolve happy early. Um But do you think that's considered cheating? Post down below if you think it is. Um, if you want to know more about this pro uh, this program, it's called YAP Yet Another Pokemon Modding. It, YAP Yet Another Pokemon Editor. It's Yape or Yape. If you want to know more, I can post a video, uh, a link to it. I don't even know where a link is. Um, I said it instead of flying up to Celadon, I'm just gonna go up, even though it is a little slower. And my stupid Dratini, it, Dragonair. Dratini. Dragonair is, um, poison. Excuse me, I'm, my, my mind is, like, lost today, isn't it? My mind is just... <laughs> um, this was irritating. Was it this one or the next battle? It was the next battle. But, Primeape was burned. I got lucky there. Burning, hmm. Another flame wheel should take care of it. Arcanine needs some XP, so I decided to move him up front. I think that I did that in the last video. Um, the last trainer video. Trainer. I am sorry. I am just not here today. Um. I, it's right here. I misjudged. Um. Mm, is it this one or the next one? It's the next one. Arcanine, learn to level 34. Arcanine won't learn any moves until it learns extreme speed, which is at like level 50 something, I think. And we're gonna have to deal with that poison. I think this is the last trainer battle I'll face, even though I probably missed one or two tra trainers up here, which I apologize. It's just I didn't want to make this like a level uh, 20 minute, 25 minute video, even though it's like almost a level. Uh, level. It's almost at 20 minutes, and I hate making videos this long just because I don't want you to bore y'all with just my voice, um, so I apologize. But, anywho, this is where I kind of misjudged. Uh, I thought this was going to knock it out, that's why I didn't bother um, healing up my Arcanine, or Arcanine, however you want to pronounce it, and it fainted. And I always hate it when my Pokemon faint just because I feel like an idiot. But luckily, right here, Dragonair, its ability finally started to uh, kick in. For some reason, I don't get why their ability does not kick in all the time. It's weird, stupid, and irritates me. But its shed skin ability is very helpful, especially on this route because it'll get rid of para uh, the paralysis and poisoning without using any uh, stuff. Alright, so we're now going to head down to Fuchsia City. I'm not going to do the walkthrough for Fuchsia City yet because there's a whole bunch of stuff I want to do before then. I want to go do the other routes, the other ways you can get here. And those trainers down there, which you saw, I'm not going to face them till later on in the game. Um, so we're going to go and heal up my Pokemon and this is pretty much the end of my video I thank you for watching comment down below and tell me if I'm being an idiot or if there's anything you want to say anywho thanks for watching please stay tuned for more rate comment subscribe